Turning now to Sacramento Republic FC. Their season came to an end well over a month ago, but this week they made headlines for something you probably wouldn't expect. For the last several months, the team has been visiting Folsom State Prison to play pickup soccer games with inmates, some of whom have been behind bars for upwards of 10 years. And this week, for the first time, the team allowed cameras to follow them into the historic prison. Republic FC is using the beautiful game to rehabilitate the incarcerated, taking soccer from the pitch to the prison yard. I feel like that sports has the ability to bring a lot of people together, to bridge, bridge gaps. He's a goal scorer. <laughs> I really believe in bridging the gap between you know, the institution and the community. Oh, I've you know, always been told that it's a scary place and this and that, so it's definitely a little different. Sacramento Republic FC is doing something different to connect with the community. Hey, how's everybody in here? They're going behind bars. <laughs> stepping inside one of the nation's most notorious prisons with an open mind. Oh! And with one goal. Oh, Rehabilitation can come in a lot of different shapes, forms, and fashions. And this right here, is rehabilitation. Once a month, you can find Sacramento's pro soccer team on the yard at Folsom State Prison, playing a pickup soccer game with inmates, many of whom have been locked up and disconnected from the outside world for more than a decade. I've been here at Folsom Prison for about eight years, and been currently incarcerated for 17 years. But for about an hour, once a month, inmates like Lou feel free again. The club is using soccer as rehabilitation. To play with these guys in here, it's like, for me, it takes away from everyday life that I have to go through in here. These are good guys that come in and, and they treat us, like what I said, just like humans. and. You know, that's all we ask. Even though this game is still being played inside the Folsom State prison walls, it gives these inmates an opportunity to step outside their current situation. Because I think, I think it just comes from unconditional love, as in, you know, regardless of what happened to put us in this position, that these guys, you know, they see us as human beings and it feels good to be amongst these men. This was Cameron Iwasa's first time walking these infamous cell blocks. The Sacramento native broke records for the Republic this season. He's the son of law enforcement, but that didn't change his perception of the players he saw on this dirt field, surrounded by armed guards and barbed wire. Obviously growing up the son of a police officer, you get a little bit different viewpoint on, uh, on a lot of things, but um, you know, I, I think on the surface, most of these guys are, are pretty good dudes that had an unfortunate incident or two, and that's really what it comes down to. And you know, so far everyone I've talked to has been awesome. Yes. As the sun sets on the yard of California's second oldest prison, dozens of men in denim look on as the beautiful game is played, getting just a glimpse into what it's like being on the outside. Some of the men in this game will be locked up for life. The simple pleasures of a dirt pitch, an inflated ball, a handshake and a hug mean the world to these inmates. And this pro soccer team is happy to bring it home to these inmates here at Folsom State Prison. I mean, I think they've paid their dues for the most part. Uh, you know, the fact that they're in here is a tough situation. So I think anytime they can get a chance to have a little fun and a little bit of freedom, I guess, um, you know, that's great for them. A Sacramento Republic, man. We're going to have a better season next year, man. We're going to go ahead and take it all away. Yeah. Big thank you to Republic FC and everyone at Folsom State Prison for allowing us to share this story. You saw the end of that clip where Kelvin Chapman, who is one of the inmates who will be in there for life, will they all follow the Republic FC. They follow the playoffs, they watch the team, they know these guys, so being able to take the field with them means more than any of them could really say. And that was just a, an incredible experience to be a part of. That was my first time at Folsom State Prison. It was a little jarring walking through the cell blocks, but once you got out there, it was a whole new world seeing just normal people interact on a human level. But it's also worth noting that the Golden State Warriors have been doing something like this Back at San Quentin, pay, playing pickup basketball with the prisoners there every year since 2012. Republic FC says they hope to continue their visits to Folsom State Prison and their involvement with rehabilitating the incarcerated there.